morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'm glad that you've been able to join me once again. I want to read you a verse this morning from Psalm 119 and it's verse 165. It's a well-known verse. I'm sure you'll be able to quote it and recite it along with me. It says this, Great peace of they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. God's word tells us that God is no man's debtor. And I'm glad that is so true. I'm glad that he owes you and he owes me nothing, but we owe him everything. And the little title I want to bring this morning is simply this, Great Prophet Found in Great Peace. Great Prophet Found in Great Peace. I said he's no, no man's debtor. And I'm so glad, friends, that's true. You see, when we follow the Lord, it's impossible to lose out impossible to lose out we always gain here in verse 165 we are told great peace of day which love thy law and nothing shall offend them what great richness is ours as we follow jesus what is there that can compare with the richness of the peace that jesus gives what a peace my savior gives peace i never knew before Oh, I thank God this morning for the peace of God that passes all understanding. You see, there are many that would give all that they possess to gain peace of mind. In this time in which we live in, many, many folk are having problem with their mind. Many folk are having a battle taking place in their mind. A battle of fear with all the different things that has happened. And all the different things that have been on people's mind. We worry and fear about loved ones and about themselves and on I could go. But for us who know Jesus as our saviour, we can know great peace of mind. And that peace of mind is there for each and every one. For all who desire the peace of God, it's there for them. But they need to know God first. They need to know Jesus as their saviour. You see, it's ours in and through our precious saviour, Jesus Christ. True love, friend, for God's word will bring us great peace from a great God and bring a great protection to us. If we love the law of God, others may take offence, but nothing will offend us. Nothing will offend us. For if we have the word of God dwelling in us richly, we will gladly take up our cross daily to serve our master and find it not to be something that daunts us, but something that delights us. We should delight in taking our cross up for Christ. We should delight in serving Christ. We should, we should delight when things come against us, knowing that he is more than all that may come against us. You see, this peace is a peace that the world, with all its knowledge, cannot understand. Cannot understand. For it says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 7, the peace of God that passes all understanding. Man can't understand it. It's too big for man to understand. That's how great this peace is. You see, there are many uh, in our world that have no peace because others have said or done something to them. And they cannot rest until they've had their say. They're filled, their hearts are filled with bitterness and all they want is to be able to have their say. But you see, my peace is not gained by what I, by what I can say, but by what he has said. In his word. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3 says this. I have mentioned it already. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusteth in thee. Can I say this morning. Get your mind upon Christ. Keep your mind on Jesus. Keep your mind stayed upon Jehovah. Keep your mind focused upon Christ. And you will know peace that passes all understanding and you will experience the presence and the power of God as you walk through the path of life knowing that he holds your hand. God bless each one. Look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.